Welcome to Starting Insulin for People with Type 2 Diabetes. This video will cover understanding insulin and how to inject insulin. Understanding insulin. What is insulin? Insulin is a hormone produced by the beta cells in the pancreas. When blood glucose levels rise, insulin is released into the blood and targets receptors in tissue cells such as muscle and fat. Insulin allows these tissues to then take up glucose and so reduce the level in the blood. With type 2 diabetes, the problem is there is not enough insulin being produced by the pancreas and the body cells don't respond to insulin as well as they used to, a problem called insulin resistance. Glucose can't enter the cells as easily, so it builds up in the blood. Who needs insulin? For people who have type 1 diabetes, injected insulin is essential and should never be stopped. Some people with type 2 diabetes may require injected insulin as their own insulin production declines. There are a number of injectable insulins available in Australia. In order to understand any insulin, you need to know its action profile. That is, how quickly it begins to work, when it peaks, and how long it is active for. If you understand the profile of an insulin, you can work out when it should be given and when you might want to do a BGL to check its effect. In general, there are three categories of insulin based on their action profile. First, there are basal insulins. These are designed to give background insulin cover throughout the day and night. They're designed to control fasting glucose levels or the levels between meals. Basal insulins can be intermediate acting or they can be long acting. Basal insulins should be given at regular times once or twice a day, regardless of meal times. You can check the effectiveness of a basal insulin by doing a fasting blood glucose level before breakfast or overnight around 2 or 3 a.m. The second category is bolus insulins. These are designed to be mealtime insulins. Bolus insulins can be short-acting insulins where they should be given at least half an hour before a meal. Or they can be rapid-acting insulins which should be given 5 to 15 minutes before a meal. You can measure the effect of a bolus insulin two hours after it is injected, that is when it is at its peak. The third category is pre-mixed insulins. These combine a bolus or mealtime insulin with a basal or background insulin in one injection. Mixtard 30 and Mixtard 50, for example, contain 30% or 50% short-acting insulin. As such, they should be injected half an hour before a meal. The other pre-mixed insulins contain rapid-acting insulin and should be given 5 to 15 minutes before a meal. You can check the effect of a pre-mixed insulin by doing a blood glucose level two hours after injecting to assess the bolus component, as well as fasting levels before breakfast or overnight to assess the basal component. Points to remember. Understand how your insulin works by its action profile. Always inject bolus and pre-mix insulins before a meal. Basal insulins, that is intermediate or long-acting insulins, can be given at the same time each day, regardless of meal time. Administering insulin. All insulins are given via subcutaneous injection. Avoid scars and stretch marks. Avoid muscle. And rotate each site to avoid lumps. A pen device reduces the risk of dosing errors. Use a 4 to 6 mm length pen needle to avoid going into muscle. Ensure insulin is stored correctly and is in date. Do not use an insulin if it is frozen or exposed to temperatures over 30 degrees Celsius. And never use an expired insulin. Follow these steps when using an insulin pen device. 1. Gently mix cloudy insulins only. 2. Remove the cap and attach a new needle. 3. Prime with two units holding the pen upright. 4. Dial your dose. 5. Select an injection site. 6. Inject and hold for 10 seconds.
press the button until the dial reaches zero. And seven, dispose of needle safely. Points to remember. Store your insulin correctly. Do not let it freeze or get too hot. You can keep the insulin you are using at room temperature for 30 days. Do not inject expired insulin. Use a new needle with every injection. Do not inject through clothes. Use a sharps container. Do not throw needles into general waste. Starting insulin can be challenging and it's understandable if you feel anxious. At the beginning, you will need to be in regular contact with your doctor and credentialed diabetes educator, or CDE, to help work out the right dose for you.